let's check out some basic positive displacement pumps which are usually used when the viscosity is so high or at least high uh, by logic pressure is applied directly so instead of the movement we actually apply pressure directly normally we have the ones with rotatory devices for example these engines right here they move and since fluid pass through here the pressure is exerted in this place right here so the fluid increases in pressure uh, they filled and empty the cavity so let's say they fill it and they empty it they have a fixed volumetric flow rate per revolution so it's that's cool you, you know how many revolutions per minute you have Oops. revolutions per minute you have you may calculate the amount of volumetric flow rate you are having and we have essentially two types rotatory and reciprocal which we're going to check the common rotatory ones as the name implies there's rotation for example this here and this here you can see this is a very small space so the fluid will be pressurized we have gear pumps which will be something like this actually I think these are lobes we have screw, peristaltic and progressive cavity the most common ones gear, screw, lock so these are the most common gear rotatory pumps uh, here are the engines of the gears these pass through here and then this little space gets pressurized and goes out with high pressure as you can see there's also movement so they bring in the fluid and then they move the fluid out they don't need to be exactly this beautiful design you can have all other type of design it will move eventually here here goes pressurize it, it starts getting pressurized counterclockwise you start here then you start going here 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 you start pressurize it and you are pressurized the screw is very typical if you remember the Archimedes screw it's kinda similar just move it move it move it and you're going to move the fluid yeah there are actually even compressors that work with this principle the principle is the same you need to get the fluid here and you will pressurize it because there is little space right here and not only that you will also move it along the way cavity is pretty similar to that of screw but they have a very interesting let's say shape it's not a screw but as you can see the fluid goes through here 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 and because this is a space reduced is so small that the pressure will be increased right here lobe as the first pump we saw it's actually similar to that engine but a little bit more smoother uh, more smooth where is it yeah the suction goes here since this is closed the fluid goes through these ways and as you can see here it's being pressurized so small and it moves and not only moves but gets pressurized so you have it right here typical application goes through here and peristaltic actually is not that used this will be for small applications or something like that it's not that let's say convenient but as the name implies it's like your peristalsis if you recall your, your body your intestine moves with peristalsis which means they act together like this and you will see a flow very interesting for example here is the first peristalsis and the second peristalsis will go out first fluid keeps rolling and goes out so we have many pieces we are not going to explain that but of course you need to have a motor which moves these little guys right here on the pipe an example this moves counterclockwise and it starts moving because of this there is one block section, this is the second section and this other section and then we go to reciprocal pumps they are still positive displacement but why reciprocal? because we work and then they get back they go and then get back these are not rotatory, this is more into one direction only we have piston and diaphragm reciprocal pumps you can see there's pumping and then goes back the piston goes here 
that goes inside, gets pressurized and goes out. And for the diaphragm, it's pretty similar actually. Is you have the diaphragm here, diaphragm, or here. Then you get the pressure, you apply it, and this will move. And then you take out the pressure, and this goes back to its original state, which is here. So as you can see, it's reciprocal because you apply it, and then you get back. You apply it, and then you get back. And yeah, let's have another example. Here is not. You are not applying pressure here, but then you apply it, and as you can see, this valve opens, lets the fluid right here go inside, and then closes and opens the other valve, then gets pressurized, so the only way the fluid goes is right here, and not only you're moving, but you are also adding pressure. And that was for positive displacement pumps, recall that there are two, uh, rotatory and reciprocal. Rotatory because they need to move in a circular way or radial way and reciprocal because they go back to their original position. This was a free preview. You want to get full access, go to my incompressible flow course. The link is in the description of the video. You will get all access. Not only that, you get a very straightforward uh, user-friendly interface. So for instance, you were analyzing or studying pumps you have it here the pump block and then you have the sections if you're for example studying the types of pumps you can go here and you have all the classes right here not to mention that you also have introduction and conclusion of every one of these so for instance if you were studying positive displacement pumps the video is right here if you were studying positive displacement pumps in rotatory and reciprocal are also included here Centrifugal pumps, which is a very important topic in this course, you have it right here.